Hi Tony. How you doing Logan, alright? Oh, great, what have you got in store for us? We'll do a nice fresh chowder. Okay, I'm not a big fan me? of chowder, but I'm looking yeah, forward to the well, chowder bread, yeah, and I'm I, happy to try it. You know, it's November, but you want to see the sun out there, it's beautiful. Right, first thing we're going to do is prepare the vegetables for the chowder. I have potatoes, carrots, and onion. Nice small dice, and that way it'll cook nice and quickly. Cubes. Okay. Presumably you're chopping up the carrot fairly finely as well. The same size as the potato. You've chopped your veg. What's next? Veg. Now I'm going to get my fish. And let me show you. I have some cod, loin, and some salmon fillet. Um, I have some smoked haddock. Now after that, sky's the limit. And you'll get people who will add prawns, and they'll add um, mussels, and they'll add oysters, and they'll add this, and they'll add that. Okay, I have some prawns, which we're going to add. And I also have some fresh mussels. So you're rinsing the mussels, Tony? Uh, I am rinsing them. I always rinse the mussels in very cold water, and the reason being, when you get them and they're open, sometimes they can be dead, and you don't want to eat them like that. So what I'm looking for is, if they are open, and when I put them into the cold water, they close up again, then I know that they're okay. That's a useful tip. So you're chopping the fish up fairly finely as well. Something similar to the uh, potato. So it's all the same size, you know, because it all got to fit into the mouth. I won't say anything. What are you implying? I was implying that, well, you could leave some of them a bit bigger then, depending on whose mouth they were going into. Certainly there was an awful lot of preparation to do, but now we've got to the stage of finding the soup. Making the soup is quite easy. First thing I do, I get 50 grams of butter, and in it goes into the pot. I can tell the pot is hot, it's sizzling. Yeah. So you're just melting the butter. Melting, and straight away I'm going to put my potatoes in, my diced potato. I see some other ingredients have appeared. I see peas and sweet corn there. Uh, peas and sweet corn have appeared. We'll add those. That's my own special uh, ingredients. Uh, I have to say, the reason why they were kept out of the way, they were actually in the freezer. I bought those. They're frozen peas and frozen sweet corn. Uh, good quality, you know. And something else you haven't seen, you haven't seen the tarragon and the chopped right. parsley. Here it is. Mm. And chopped parsley, okay. And also some fish stock. Now I haven't made it myself, not because I'm lazy, but because it's a good product. And what's in that jug there? That's the white wine. Okay, didn't mention that earlier. Didn't I? No. Okay, sorry. Right, in goes the carrot and the onion. Got the aromats now. And the reason I'm adding these now is because I've got lovely... Did you say aromats? Aromats, okay. Now, I'll tell you what they are in a minute. They are aromats as well. It means the flavours that go into it. And the reason why I'm adding my herbs now is because with that little bit of heat, that just bursts the flavour forth. I've got around about a half a teaspoon of tarragon, dried tarragon has gone in there. Okay. Fresh parsley goes in. Now, in goes my smoked haddock and salmon. Right, and now the last bit of fish that goes in are the prawns and the mussels. Now the mussels, what I did in the meantime, is I boiled a bit of water, threw them in, I give them about three or four minutes, take them out, rinse them, and uh, they are the mussels, and in they go too. Uh, white wine, fish stock. I'm going to add a litre in total of fish stock into that. There goes the milk in. I'm going to bring this to the boil and then we'll prep the seasoning and we'll finish it off. Presumably you could use cream instead of milk if you wanted a really uh, rich listen, chowder. You've given her away there. I have cream, but I won't add the cream yet. Now you tell me, Logan, why wouldn't I add the cream when I'm boiling rapidly? My curdle. You're right. Full mark for that boy. <laughs> okay, it's had around about 10 minutes now. I'm going to add these ingredients, my peas and sweet corn. 
salt and pepper. Do you know, pass that salt to us, will you please, uh, Loki? There you go, Tony. Thank you very much. It is a bit thin at the moment, we've still got another five minutes or so to go. We're going to add some cream to it, so that will certainly thicken up. Um, they do say add corn flour to it, or flour. And I know some recipes will say make a roux when you add the butter and your vegetables and so on. But I am trying to be a little bit health conscious, and so I've omitted the corn flour and the flour. But if I wanted to, if I thought it was a little bit too thin, even though I got the flavour, I'd add some um, mashed potato. It's come up lovely now. Final ingredient that goes into this, um, around about 100 mils of cream. Mmm. Oh, God, that's lovely. Do us a favour, Lorcan. See how that bread is doing in the oven. Here you go. Coming up. It should be ready. Now, it might be a little bit too hot. It's straight out of the oven. Oh, look at that. Gonna have some nice soup some chowder and some freshly baked wholemeal soda bread. Fantastic. Straight out of the oven. Oh. That looks terrific. I'm ready for this, are you? I certainly am. Okay, let's have lunch. Okay.